I, I'm not an artist. What I think I'm developing here is the paintbrushes and the canvases for artists to explore this idea that I can paint with my garden. So hi, my name's uh, Jonathan Wolf. I'm from Sydney in Australia, and I've been working with a FarmBot 1.6 for my exploration into the weird combination of gardening and art and data fusion. And so what I'm doing with my FarmBot is using the garden as a way to generate data through phenotyping to feed into a art generation system. Phenotyping is where they, they use sensors like cameras to look at the volume of the plant, how green it is, how many leaves it has, how many leaves per stick. So there's probably a hundred different attributes that a farm bot type system can extract by taking a photo of a plant. We use an open source system called Plant CV. So we use the farm bot to take photos on a regular regime and we run it through Plant CV to then extract the data points. To create a schedule, the user can pick a desired plant and they can pick a plant group as well and they can select a start date and the repetition period either daily, weekly or monthly. The schedule will be created into the table and you can view the previously created schedules. Because it's a robot, I can do that a hundred times a day. The Python library is retrieving schedule information from the database and creating scheduled jobs and they will activate when the time comes to collect plant data. On my farm bot, I have um, extended the ability, I 3D printed some 45 degree mirrors so the farm bot can go on the left hand side or the right hand side, take a photo. And then when I've collected all the data, I then have the opportunity to say, well, I want to combine the data from the strawberry with the mint plant, with the carrot plant. To be honest, I'm really still exploring all of the opportunities that, that has been created by this thing because it's massive. And to create AI art, we use Stable Diffusion. So this will take a text prompt and create an image based of that prompt. We provide a leaf count, leaf circularity, leaf solidarity, and leaf aspect radio. When you do that, if you have a pineapple, you get art that has the colors and attributes of a pineapple without it looking like a pineapple. If we want to customize the data types, we can choose whatever we want, that what types you we want to include. Click on a button. Uh, the generate art just take a 15 seconds to load a picture. Uh, after loading the picture, we can see the actual prompt for AI in the below. And here we can see the date created, the full prompt. If we want to download these images, we can view the images in the chip folder. It interpreted it in a way that I didn't really understand how it was interpreting it, but I ended up with a result that was, to me, quite pleasing aesthetically. Mm. I can develop artistic expression through plants that I choose to grow, how I choose to look after them. So I'm an active participant in the ecosystem of the garden as it evolves. Through the phenotyping and this capturing of data, we might find these hidden associations and hidden you know, combinations that we never knew existed.